Your friend Brill managed to elude us. You, however, were not so fortunate. We've known for a while your father was a follower of Rimbaldo. And we were hoping they'd contact you. But there are three things that you should understand. The first involves this item I hold in my hand. It's capable of delivering up to 500,000 volts. Not enough to kill you, just enough to let you wish it would. The second is I believe Mr. Brill disclosed the location of the passenger, which means I won't stop until you tell me. The third, Mr. Vaughn, is that I'm going to enjoy this far more than I should. I must say, I'm impressed. Of course, it's on the lower set. But I'm through showing restraint. I'll ask you again. Where is the passenger? Holy that thing. You almost look like you've reached puberty. Don't touch me. Michael, please. Zach's going to give you the Inferno Protocol. You can't survive, not now, not after everything you've been through. Why do you care? Not everything was a lie. Get him down and put him on the cart. Now he needs time to recover. Why this sudden concern for your husband's well-being? If he dies, you'll take the information with him. Whatever petty feelings you have for him, they don't concern you. Please listen. Ah! Please escort Miss Reed out of here. Now, where were we? Somehow you survived. Michael, listen to me. Did I tell him? You told Tuck everything. He'll be back here any second. You have to get out of here. Why are you doing this? For me, our marriage was real. The only real thing in my life. Go. about to embark into a procedure the CIA was more than willing to use on me. You have to admit, the reversal is a tad ironic. This time, my friend, it's for real. tell you where the passenger is? He told me. Where is she? No. I'll ask you again. Where is the passenger? Increase the dosage. <laughs> 